Today we're going to talk about the color cycle on your washing machine. We're going to talk about which clothes you should use it on and which ones it's not really necessary for. Uh, first of all, this cycle may have many different names. On my washer it's called jeans. Uh, on some washers it may be called colors. Also, if it's called dark, that's also going to go under this umbrella of this color uh, saving uh, setting. So what this setting is made for is essentially for clothes that are prone to color bleeding and pretty much only these clothes. How it works is that the washing machine is going to use a pretty low temperature first of all. I would say keep it below 20 degrees celsius optimally. You can probably increase it a little bit up to 40 degrees celsius, maybe 30. Try to stay below 20 because above that uh, color bleeding generally becomes a problem. This cycle also rinses with cold water and it actually uses an extra rinse to get out all the remaining uh, dye that may have come out from the clothes during the wash. Also it uses a gentle agitation and spin cycle to again preserve the colors in the clothes, right? So as you can probably gather from hearing all this, this cycle is specifically made for clothes that are prone to color bleeding. So which clothes are these? Well think clothes with very vivid colors, especially reds are very prone to color bleeding. Also if you have like um, uh, denim, Especially raw denim would be the, the ultimate bleeder of color. Especially denim and vivid colors when they are new, the colors haven't like set yet. So then they're going to be particularly prone to bleeding. Uh, on top of this, also any synthetic clothes that are colored, uh, that includes synthetic blends, have a tendency to bleed a lot more color than uh, their... Uh, natural counterparts. So anything besides these, I would probably just stick with a regular cycle for them as you will get a better wash. Uh, this is a pretty gentle wash. So if th the clothes are really soiled, this, you may not get the results that you want. But if you, it, you want to preserve color, this is the way to go. Uh, that includes colors, but also like blacks. Uh, actually, darker the clothes are, the more prone they generally are to color bleeding. So how you would go about using this cycle, let's just break it into steps here. So the first thing you want to do is separate the clothes. So you want to separate out, you could either take the blacks on their own or really darks, and then the colors, you know, generally vivid colors on their own, and then you have the whites, they always go on their own. If you want to mix the blacks and the uh, vivid colors, that is okay. There, there is a problem where they can bleed onto each other, just so you're aware of that. If you really want a really cool hack to prevent color bleeding, if you put colors of only the same color together in the wash, <laughs> they're not, you're not going to notice any bleeding because, well, they're all the same color. Anyway, once you have decided on this and taken the whites to the side, you can move on to pop them into the washing machine. From there, it is as simple as turning the washer on and you want to set the program to the setting for your colors. And you want to make sure that the temperature is pretty low. Also, make sure the spin cycle is pretty low. From there, load your detergent into the tray. For the love of all that is holy, please remember to avoid Bleach, don't put bleach with your colored clothes. Start the cycle and you are good to go. Now, if you have colored clothes that you don't feel like you need to use the cycle on, I've made a bunch of videos in the past on other cool settings that you can use. Here's a huge playlist I made, over 30 videos at this point. You can check that out for some more information. The first video is really cool. Also, I've now made this newsletter that you can sign up for. If you sign up, I'll send you a cheat sheet that you can learn how to cut your laundry costs in half. So if you want that, you can go in the description or to organizing.tv slash cheat sheet. Hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one.